Time now for the fresh grocer Tony Tantillo. Today it's Tony's table, and Tony is making penne pasta and meat sauce. Yum, Tony. I'm so excited. It smells so good. With a lot of garlic. It's yes. a garlic sauce with some nice ground beef in mm. there. It's not a bolognese. It's more like a sauce with some meat added. What's to the it. difference? Cream? Bolognese, the cream, okay. the cheeses, different cheeses, and three different types of meat. It takes a little bit longer. It, it both are good. <laughs> right, I'll eat them all. A <laughs> little simpler and delicious <laughs> with some penne pasta. Now, as we get this ready to go, what I'd like you to do okay. is add a little bit of olive oil to this. Just I a start touch. with olive oil when I saute some products, and I'm going to end with it. Perfect. Is this Tantillo that, olive oil? I have my pee. <laughs> so then what I'd like you to do is, if you mm. don't mind, add a little bit of red pepper flakes. Okay. I want to give it a little bit of spice. Okay, I don't add a lot because, you know, having a baby at home, you don't want it too spicy. No, no, that's okay. That's perfect. <laughs> okay, now add a little bit of parsley. We're going to wait on the cheese. We're going to put the cheese in at the very end because that's going to oh. bind everything together. Oh, I didn't know that. So, so waiting to the end parsley. makes all the yeah. difference? And the reason I put the parsley in now is we want to get some of the oils from the parsley released onto there. The Italian flat leaf parsley. A little bit more. Okay, I was like, a little bit I'm more. not sure. Perfect. Maybe just a one more, one more little touchdown. Oh, okay. Perfect. Look at that. Why am I holding nice. back? It's Monday. Yeah, go it's big Monday. or go home. It's Monday. Go big. That's, now, I'm going <laughs> to do a little tip on garlic here. What I'd like you to do is just mix this around a little bit, okay. if you don't mind. Now, garlic right now in the market, there's some old crop in there. I spoke about this a couple of months ago, but some of the crop is leaving. But here's the key now. If you don't buy it right, you're going to bring it home. It's going to be like powder inside. It's going to taste terrible. Yeah. So what you want to do is make sure you buy it nice and white, free from any sprouting whatsoever. Give it a squeeze. If it starts to break apart in your hand, it's actually dehydrated. It's been stored for way too long. So make sure it's nice and firm. When you bring it home, always store them. Very important. In a cool, dry spot, but not in the refrigerator. You want to keep them away from moisture. Very important. Good job stirring that up. Is now, it okay if you store your garlic with a bunch of other stuff like I do? Like... Lemon. Yeah, if you like garlic on everything, yeah. Well, not on lemon. <laughs> you, could, you, you can. It doesn't, can. like, infect it? No, no, okay. not at all. Now I'd like you to do is add some cheese. We're going to okay. put the cheese in before we plate it. Just look at that. Perfect. Right? I'm a chef. I could tell. Time. And I already I, put I some like salt and I pepper. Am. I already seasoned it because the sauce has plenty of that on there. So how does ending with cheese make the difference? Because when you put the cheese on, like, at the very end, when uh -huh. you plate it, put the cheese on, yeah. the cheese doesn't have enough time really to melt. Uh -huh. And like bind everything together. But you don't so want to add it too early? Does it make it gummy? To, yeah, you don't want to make it exactly. Hmm. You nailed it. So this, this is about, about right, right here. Let's serve this. And there you go. Yum. Can we try it? Do we have enough go time? Ahead. I hope so. I'm like, let me add that fork. Let's go see. in, go mm. in. I'm going in too. Yum. Well, that's hot. But it is delicious. It yeah. is hot. <laughs> It's very hot, <laughs> but very good. All the different layers of flavors and that nice and hearty. That is great. And I usually add parsley afterward. Well, I, I don't, I you want to get the oils it. from that. Yeah. You want to release that's why, those oils. That's why we have the pro here. Thank you, Tony. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> you can see Tony Tantella's Fresh Grocer reports every Monday through Friday right here on KCAL 9 News at noon. Up next, Amber Lee is back with.